Welcome to 15 Minute Theatre, the only review show that squeezes a whole production into 900 seconds. The date is Friday the 23rd of March and James has just been to see Little One. Open the house. Jim Bobs, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you, Vicky. What the heck's going on? Well, this is... I feel like we've reversed roles. We certainly have. I'm not sure how comfortable I am with it, <laughs> <laughs> taking the lead. I've got to ask you questions and stuff. You really do. You have to take an interest. Yeah, that's hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have been to see Little One at the Landor Space, which is directed by... Now, I've got to read James's writing here, and it's a bit difficult for me. Uh, directed by Corey Haas... Written by Hannah Moscovich. Notable actu- t- actors, actors are Matthew Cleverly and Natasha Zaka. That's a good name, isn't it? Yeah. Cleverly. Cleverly. The venue is a land or space, which is part of the O Canada Festival, running until Saturday 24th of March. Now, James, do you want to give me a synopsis? I will. <laughs> okay, so um, the play revolves around a brother and a sister. Um, and the sister is adopted about the age of four. Right. And she's got very psycho tendencies, basically. Oh, and the, bro- the, the brother is like full full blood child. Yeah. Okay. And so there's lots of narration and lots of monologues. Um, it tells a story over about maybe about ten years, maybe, or something like okay. that. Um, and it just kind of descends into kind of a creepy situation for oh. the brother. And then alongside that, there's um, another story which is told, um, again, in the form of monologue, mainly. Two stories, that's quite greedy, isn't it? Yeah, about a couple uh, called Roger, and I'm going to say Kitty, because that was the nickname of the person. Are they related to the brother and sister in any way? No, uh, but they are neighbours, which you find out towards the end. Like in the Australian (laughs) type. Just like that, Is it Scott and Charlene? (laughs) (laughs) Um, so, uh, what questions shall I ask you first? Uh, what were your first impressions of it? Okay, well, I went, I went in there and it was in a pub theatre and it was, it was a nice intimate space. There was, a, there was a drummer in the corner. Hello. He was doing a bit of percussion. Did he have like a full drum kit? He did have a full drum kit. And, and then on the walls, um, there was lots of writing. It was all, all the walls were black and they put black sugar paper. Right. And they'd done like noughts and crosses. And, and there was lots of things like a fish and a drawing of a cat. And as you went through the play, yeah. all these things kind of related to it. And they did more drawing as they went along. Was it a bit like the time many years ago when it was my birthday and it was on Friday the 13th? And we covered the walls with bin bags and painted on them and then it smelt so bad we had to take them down. I know, I remember that party. It was a fancy dress party, wasn't yeah. it? But I said nobody, people didn't have to bother, so there's only about five people in fancy dress. Which was, I think, us. Yeah, oh, gosh, I remember that. We went in, we were really proud of ourselves. It was all black and we couldn't breathe. <laughs> yeah. We didn't really have any windows, did we? No, it was good times. Oh, good student, times. student life. Anyway. Um, okay, so... Um, what was the staging? So we've done, we done that staging. Are there any other sort of techni- technically bits that are noteworthy? Um, not really. Um, there was only two people in it. So okay, so they, they play both? Yeah, so they played the brother and the sister um, and also um, did the mo- um, monologues. Um, but it was mainly um, Aaron, who was a brother. He, his monologues were all about his sister, really. Right. And um, it all kind of revolved around he, they didn't know her real name, um, oh. and she'd obviously been abused when, she, but they weren't sure when she okay. was young. How did they differentiate between being the brother and sister and the the neighbours? No, they didn't Charlie. play the neighbours, but they just told the story of the neighbours, okay. and that was quite hard because, to be honest. To start with, when they were doing the monologues about the neighbours, I didn't find it very engaging. Right. So I kind of struggled with those bits. And I was, I didn't know who they were for a start. Okay. And I was thinking, have I missed something important? And what were their performances like in general? Were they good? They, they performed brilliantly. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was really pleased. I mean, it's hard because I kind of work... I have some knowledge of this field. Yeah. And I thought sometimes... Um, 
the writing was a little bit off. But and that's quite a harsh criticism, really. Most of the time it was right, but sometimes I thought some of the things that happened, the, the crazy things that she did, yeah. were a little bit... Well, some of the language wasn't quite right. Right. But the performances were uh, were really good, and, and the, the energy of them... I mean, if I had to criticise the performances at all, I would say they were a little bit too heightened. Uh, but... A little bit OTT? A li- uh, but only a bit. Okay. Only and a bit. How long was it? Um, an hour. Oh, perfect for you. <laughs> I loved it, yeah. <laughs> we know you can't hold your attention for longer than an hour. <laughs> it was a perfect length. <laughs> yeah. Um, and no interval. Um, and as it carried on, it did become more engaging. Right. I mean, when I read the synopsis, they were talking about Nightmare on Elm Street and things like that and kind of chilling. And That's it's, hard to portray well, on the stage. Cause yeah. You're, how do you do his Mr. Tickle arms when he goes down the alleyway? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it, obviously, it, it was all set in, like, real. There was no fantasy element. Yeah, OK. Um, but, yeah, the story became more engaging right. as it went on. Um, and I suppose because I've seen a lot of horror films, it takes a lot to scare me. But there were some kind of uncomfortable moments. Right. Um, did you have any standout moments? Standout moments. <laughs> standout moments. Um, I certainly liked. I much more preferred every time um, the brother and sister were acting to uh, were performing together. Okay. So the monologues I found hard to take. Okay. Have to be honest, but um, there was like a whole bit um, in in a campsite, and I, and that was quite good and quite disturbing. Was that like? Uh, Friday the 13th I forgot I forgot my horror films for a minute <laughs> oh my goodness well it was certainly not like Carry On Camping <laughs> okay uh, but again no it, it was all the disturbing relationship of Claire is that your real name Claire is it Claire what's your real name Claire that's my Canadian accent that Thank was very, very good much. very good um, I do have family in Canada a boot. so that's probably you've got family a boot to Canada <laughs> a boot Canada sorry that's a little bit racialist uh, anyway yeah so um uh, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot, and I, you know, a new writer. I thought she did a brilliant job. Um, you know, and it was an engaging play. Okay, good, good. So I feel like maybe we should have a little break for a minute. Okay. And then we're going to come back and do your amazing comfort clock. <laughs> Great. So we've had a break of. Uh, about 30 seconds. And, uh, three days. So I'm going to do the We've been sat comfort here for clock. three days. Uh, James's dog has just put his toy on my lap. He's desperate for playtime. You're not having any playtime. Oh. Um, so we've got the comfort clock here, which goes from 12am uh, to 12pm. No, that's the wrong way what? around. Just say uh, what So one is like, it's a bit poo. Yeah. Um, 12 is like, it's, comfy. it's pretty comfy. How would you rate the theatre for comfortable ability? <laughs> well, it was um, it was very comfortable. Uh, lots of space. Um, so, and uh, you know, I had a whole row to myself, which oh. was always nice. Um, and not a great sign for the popularity of the play. Though. Well, I think that's, that they struggle, but you know, but, um, I think fringe theatre does struggle for audiences, and yeah. and it was a shame because they deserved to have a much bigger audience yeah. than they did. Well, maybe they did after a really this... good job. Maybe have this review for the next production. Absolutely, <laughs> I think they should certainly take it somewhere else and do it again. So um, the I suppose I was going to be oh, and I have, could have a beer in there, so I have yeah. a little drink. Could you have a glass? Or did you have I had a glass. glass yeah. Oh, no. So um, the, if I had to be mega critical, um, the, chair, the chairs were just like plastic chairs. Oh, so cool. I'll knock off point for that. But okay. I'm going to say eleven. That's probably the best one we've had so far. Yeah, it suited me, and also you weren't sitting next to me. Well, so. That's great. <laughs> I wanted to say something rude, but I didn't do it. Okay, so obviously I can't rate this because I haven't seen it. So we're going to just do uh, Jimbo's ratings here. Which, uh-huh. And then we'll test my head mass and see whether my head mass is any better yeah. than James's. Yeah, now we'll see how difficult it is. Shall <laughs> I go first? Um, yeah, you go first. What would you give the performances? I am going to give the performances a solid nine. Oh, that's strong. Yeah, they're really good performances. Like I said, just a couple of times, I think they went a little bit too far, but I can't fault them. And, you know, they engaged me all the way through. That so well great. done, both that, of them. Brilliant. That's more than you've given some, some proper prize on the West End. Uh, I know. Um, staging and technical. Um, it was nicely staged. Um, there wasn't a whole lot to that. I thought, um, so I'll give it, I'm going to give it a seven. Okay. 
Uh, oh, top of the pen's fallen off. Narrative, plot slash music. Okay, well, well, um, definitely some points for the put the drum, which you know also managed to make the sound of rain and the campsite and all this. Whoa, kind of, oh yeah, get out of <laughs> ten. Um, sometimes the narrative went a little bit cliche, right. so I'm going to give it an eight. These are strong marks. Originality. Um, it was it, it was nothing I hadn't seen before right. but it was refreshing it, but in, in another way it was refreshingly different I'm kind of contradicting myself you're talking I'm, nonsense I'm going to give it seven and a half ok and well, why are you putting in a half Mark yeah just to show you how difficult it is ok fine oh stop trying to mount me dog <laughs> get down right was it worth it uh, definitely worth it yeah well, uh, really um, enjoyable and yeah. I was supposed to go on the Thursday and I couldn't make it so I kind of decided last minute to go on the Friday and I'm really glad I did um, so yeah, I'm gonna give that a <laughs> eight. <laughs> the dogs, just get away from me! I know you love me, but you're going crazy. Okay, I'm gonna add the scores. <laughs> Sorry, dog on me. I'm gonna add up the scores. James is gonna tell you what exciting thing we're going to see next. So uh, go ahead. Okay, so the next play uh, very excited about is the birthday party at the Harold Pinter Theatre. It's got an all-star cast. It's got Toby Jones, Stephen Mangan, Zoe Wanamaker, just to name a few. Oh, and I have to say Paul Mackey, um, Doctor Who fame. So, um, yeah, I'm very excited about that. And, um, yeah, we'll be, able, we'll be back to normal as well, so we'll be reviewing it together. I feel like I've not done the scores properly. Oh, you see, it's not that easy, is it? Yeah, this doesn't seem right. OK, no, let's go with it. So, Jimbo, you've given this a rating of 3.9 and a half. Okay. Which puts it just below 31 hours and just above the Twilight Zone and the winner is, which I think is pretty, uh, pretty good yeah, for I a think pub theatre. Yeah, I think it's done really well. And I'm, I'm happy with that, with that rating. What number is that, then? So that will be number eight, eight. on our leaderboards. Good stuff. Pretty good. Well done, little one. Um, so what do we do now? Because you normally do this bit. Have I got a page of things that I'm supposed to say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what's that noise? <laughs> <laughs> I heard it too. Oh, that's, that's the theatre bell, <laughs> oh. which means we're out of time. Thanks very much for listening. But it tells me here to say I've been James, but that's not my name. Yeah, don't confuse them. I've been Vicky. I've been James. Uh, thanks again. Uh, so <laughs> the curtain's down, the theatre is dark, and that was 15 Minute Theatre. Good night! Good night! If you're brave enough to have your theatre production reviewed, please contact us at 15minutetheatre at gmail.com. Find us on Twitter and please rate and review us on iTunes. Thanks for listening.